It's been 100 days since Hong Namgi took office. We take a look back at what he accomplished and the challenges that lies ahead as the second economic chief for the Moon administration. To do that, let's turn to our Kim Hyesung. March 19, 2019 marks the 100th day since Finance Minister Hong Namgi took office last December. Goals at the top of his agenda have been boosting economic vitality, strengthening socio-economic inclusiveness, and pushing for innovative growth. In February, the government finalized changes to the minimum wage commission having representatives from labor management, the public and the government to make sure future wage changes are more acceptable to the market. The minimum wage in the country has gone up by double digits in 2018 and 2019 to 7 U.S. dollars and 40 cents an hour. The finance minister has addressed concerns for the self-employed and the corporate sector, from the way the minimum wage is calculated to flexible work under the 52-hour work week. He's shown a strong determination to communicate with various parties to reach a consensus. Minister Hong nam -gi continued the government's expansionary fiscal policy by making 23 projects worth 21 billion U.S. dollars exempt from preliminary government economic assessments, meaning they can be carried out faster. The government also helped broker an agreement on a so-called Gwangju model for jobs, a manufacturing joint venture between the Gwangju city government and Hyundai Motor to set up a new auto factory. But job growth remains sluggish. In February, the number of new jobs added bounced back to the 200,000 level, but many were public sector jobs for the elderly. Higher quality manufacturing jobs for those in their 30s and 40s decreased. Unemployment and the wealth gap are still very high. The government has been spending more to boost growth on the back of its huge tax revenues, but it's important where it is used. Government construction projects won't help the economy in the long run. So-called innovative growth plans like hydrogen economy need to be fleshed out in more detail for them to be feasible. With the global slowdown weighing on Korea's exports, the key driver of the local economy, experts say, on top of expansionary fiscal policy, Structural reform and deregulation need to gain pace this year to create sustainable growth. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.